All right. Best behavior. Are we live? I think we're live. It's still, I think it just happened. We're just faster than the computer, dear. Okay. I know I'm getting old, but I'm not that slow. It was thinking over there. So Look, I'm now we're live. Now See? We are. We're, we're up and running. Hey, everybody. What's up? What's up, man? I need to go to bed. I need to be sleeping right now. It has been, uh, uh, I, I don't even know where to start. I'll let you start. I don't know where to start. Where should we start? Busy week, guys. Busy week. Let's go back about three weeks. Okay. Well, he's been real busy. We've been real busy. We've Let's both been say. busy. Yeah. It has been, uh, it's been crazy. So just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what's happened over the last three weeks, um, I was supposed to be in Vegas. Hey, local crew, Tom, Brian, Travis, I'll get you guys in a minute. Catherine, hopefully you're doing well, recovered from the trip. Um, I was supposed to be in Vegas three weeks ago. That show got, for me, for me, that show got canceled. So I had a free week, which don't happen very often. So I headed off to North Carolina to help Chris come back, had a couple of days of rain. And then uh, Chris ended up coming to Derby. And we had to split our time between working and the Utility Equipment Expo. We had some uh, SOT Metalworks. What's up? Uh Sparky's Garage. He was at the show. Nuts yeah. 319. Hopefully you guys had a good time in Bunyan. Sorry I didn't make it to that show. It was just total, total chaos. But uh but um anyways, uh Joy, excuse me, between Chris being in town and working, had some other people's in town that works a lot. So Mrs. Dirt Boss was in town. Hopefully you guys had him on set. There's Dirt Boss on there. Oh, look, Dirt Boss and Mrs. Dirt we got the whole we got the whole crew back together on the internet now so anyways it was absolute chaos uh driving back and forth to louisville to the show working trying to finish a pond up trying to find time to meet and spend time with everybody it uh it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun but it was definitely exhausting and then uh, we had a big youtube gathering after the show here at camp on friday and then we took off early Saturday morning and drove four hours to uh, Chillicothe, Ohio, to watch uh, Skid Steer Drew. What's up? To watch uh, our dirt car race with Jeffrey and his crew. And we didn't get home till super late. We didn't get home till like three o'clock this morning. Yeah. And uh, wowzers! But uh, man, it was is not it's Jeff's been fun though. Been fun, and it's not Jeff's fault. But we had kind of a bummer night in Chillicothe. He made about two laps on the track and. Lost like breaks, the hot laps, the hot laps yeah. So, uh, but uh, Jeff was nice enough to introduce us to another driver up there. So we had somebody to cheer for. Turn my mic on. What the heck? You didn't turn my mic on before we started. Hello. Man, Are we working? I thought I had you. You amateur. I thought I had you. What the heck? I thought I had you. She don't have nothing important to say, anyways, folks. I don't know why you're in such. A Sorry, guys, you couldn't hear me there. Brian, sixty-one eighty. We were in your neck of the woods. He offered us this place to stay last night, but oh, we we had stuff we had to do, man. I greatly appreciate that, yeah, but we had you. to get uh, we had to get back home. And uh, I, there's a lot of stuff I should have been doing today, but it rained, and uh, I've kind of been a little bit, uh, a little bit. Uh, hey, I was productive. You know what digging. I was doing. I did fix your I did fix your closet. Oh yeah. Well we I had a uh can you hear me now, Jamie? Um we had a mishap in my closet oh, and God. all my dress pants and all my dresses came crashing. Swift outdoors, the what's up? Let him up there. But anyways, I was productive filling their perfect orders. Today. Yes. I so, did not get them all done though, because so we've much. had uh probably close to 40 orders. Uh if you guys didn't see the short video I put out. We have stock right now. We're having a hard time getting more stock, and we can't guarantee shipping with all the crazy stuff going on right now. Your orders are going to be filled this week. So, We've been super busy. Yeah, and if but. you guys if you guys want stuff for Christmas, you probably need to get it in in the next uh, next week or so. Uh, we're not going to be able to guarantee it because it's just crazy. Dirt. Next week or so. Well, or next <laughs> month. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yes, it's just I haven't had sleep. People, I have not had sleep. It has been insanity absolute yes insanity but if you guys are interested in their perfect swag for christmas we do have we are stocked up pretty good right now and uh jen has been hey, getting the, jen has been getting the orders out um but dirtperfect1.com go to dirtperfect1.com and uh, get your orders in sassafras valley we got to spend some time with him he actually made it to derby spent some time with captain cleman 
It was awesome meeting him. It's it's so cool. Uh, Chris, I hear <laughs> I need to call you anyways. It is so it is so cool to uh, put some faces with the names we see in the comments all the yes, time. Yes, it was. Uh, we don't have the official numbers from the meet and greet as far as uh, how many people come through and who all was there, but uh, it definitely exceeded our expectations, which was awesome. I was definitely thankful for the name tags at yes. the um, yeah. <laughs> meet and greet. For, it was hard for me to uh, <laughs> Drew, keep up with everybody. Drew Gardner come up, which is Kid Steer Drew. I've got them saved. I got these guys saved in my phone under their YouTube name, not their yes. real name. Like Drew Gardner. I know that name from somewhere. He's like, I'm Skid Steer Drew, you idiot. I'm like, oh, yes. Yes. So yes. that's how I see. I mean, that's how I think of most of them by their yeah. YouTube. Like if handle. I got a YouTuber's name in my phone, it's not their actual name. It's their YouTube well, what name. I've been doing is putting their first name and then their YouTube so name next well, to it. So I know we all know you're smarter than I, I am. Don't well, have this, to point it out. This is true. This is true. Uh, local crew was there. Lee in the Woods was there. Uh, man, a lot of you guys were there. It was, it was awesome. So if you guys don't know what we're talking about, we did have our first, I'm going to call it our first official uh youtube organized meet and greet we had over 20 we had over 20 channels there i don't have my channel list. give me the the hyundai fly right there you, so you can't name them all off oh my goodness um they're too awesome the channels were just too awesome yeah so if you go to hyundai's website this is the advertisement for it if you go to the hyundai's website they've got all these channels linked on their website but uh diesel creek was there dig drive dyi was there digging life 21 was there dirt balls farmer chris full tail grading hamiltonville farms got to meet hank hank was awesome um harmless farmer man that dude's amazing he scaled the fence like everybody was struggling getting over the fence up to the stage and he just like walked right over walked right over it was insane um let's dig 18 logger way man behind the scenes muddy feet concrete pumping come up from texas Mr. Millennial, Officer Hoover, just seen him uh, show up in the comments here. DOT Bear Woodworking, uh, SOT Metalworks, Tractor Time with Tim. Tim and Christy were awesome. Trucker Track, Todd, in usual fashion. I told him he couldn't talk and he had to be quiet, so he just decided to uh, play sticker games. Mm -hmm. uh, John with Upstate Brush Control, those guys were awesome. Uh, Watch West Work was there. They were so cool. We had a bunch of uh, I dig it four was there. Sassafras Valley was there. Lee in the woods was there. I think Swift outdoors was there. Uh, Sparky's garage was there. Um, man, there was, I don't know. We had a bunch of cowboy car crashing was there. Um, we had a bunch, I think we had like 12 or 15 other channels that were there that, uh, were kind of part of the meet and greet, but not part of the official meet and greet. And a huge, man, a huge, huge shout out to uh, Hyundai. They put a lot of effort into this thing. Yeah. Uh, they had it set up. I mean, it, they, they literally let us, they paid big money for this booth. They just let us invade and take over, which was awesome. Uh, they did a lot of things for the YouTubers uh, that was really nice that they didn't have to do that everybody appreciated. And uh, also a huge shout out to uh, Miss SOT Metalworks. She was uh she would say my YouTube secretary, kind of behind the scenes. Yeah, she putting uh, everything together. Did a uh, lot. It was uh, Max. No, I do not have any of those polo shirts on the website. Is that something you guys are interested in? Oh, the one wearing? I was wearing. Mm -hmm. I think I've only got three of them to my name, and I wore all three of them this week. So, well, all your other shirts are dirty all the time. You stain them up too. So, quick. local crew brings up a point here that Hyundai rules, and for you guys, like at the at that show. The who's who of Hyundai was there, like all the big guys. Um, and a lot of you guys got to meet, interact with them. And it's one reason why I just love, just absolutely love working with Hyundai is they are all as just cool as cucumbers, guys. Yeah, they were all like, awesome. They all you, came guys that, and talked and everything. you guys that are at the show, like it, it, you'd, you'd have to be blind not to see how awesome these guys are. And in the little speech I gave, uh, before we introduced everybody, kind of given uh, given props to Hyundai, I basically said, you know, I, I left the booth impressed with the equipment, but uh, um, I left the booth impressed with the equipment. But after working with these guys for the last two years, I'm like totally impressed with the company, man. They are awesome. Yeah, Dirt Boss, that was kind of one of the ideas Susan come up with. And uh, I figured that's something the YouTubers could use to keep their stuff charged. Um. It, uh, man, Hyundai just, 
they're just awesome. I don't know how else to put it. I, I love the equipment. I love the company. I'm almost embarrassed that, uh, uh, almost embarrassed that I don't, don't have one. Uh, Ron, you're, I'm assuming you're referring to the live feed. Um, that is on the expo, not Hyundai. Uh, we had to run off cell phone service and unfortunately the phone we were using the hotspot off of had limited data. We did not know that. And, um, we lost connection, but, uh, just stay tuned to all the channels that are there. Uh, Hyundai had a professional film crew there. I've got uh, some on my channel coming up. Yeah. Uh, everybody that's there is probably going to have something on their channel. So, uh, Digging Live 21 was there. Eric, you're correct. Sorry. I apologize. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to you know. <laughs> I've got down the name of people so I can remember them on one hand. We got to get down to 10 so I can write one on each finger. <laughs> I know when we were going through tagging people when we were posting stuff, it was like, okay, we have 20. Did we get them all? (laughs) And I I don't want to forget anybody because everybody, uh, uh, where's what's the new Hyundai equipment? I don't see any behind you. All right, Jeremy Pate, we do actually, uh, we do actually have some new Hyundai equipment to give away. So you guys look up here, give give one down, Jen, and show them. Sassafras Valley says he's going to post some stuff. So go over and check him out on his channel. Man, Sassafras Valley. It was so cool to meet him in person. He has had, he has supported so many of the channels on this list since the very beginning. Um, so go over and show Sassafras Valley some love because he deserves it. Because man, he supports everybody on this list. I guarantee he comments on their stuff, and he comments in a manner you know he watched their stuff, which is awesome. So um thank you sassafras valley for everything you've done to support all of our channels and thanks for showing up at the meet and greet it was really cool to actually get to meet you in person so all right hyundai is not done yet guys hyundai still has still has some free stuff to give away they gave us two of the scale hl 960 loaders uh i don't know what the value is on this thing but i'm guessing probably close to 100 bucks maybe we got um two of them two of them so this is what we're going to do after this live feed is over, I want you guys to go down in the comments and I want you to comment what channel you looked most forward to meeting that was on the list. And I want you to comment what channel was not on the list you would like to see at the next meet and greet. So just basically two names. The first name needs to be uh, the first name needs to be who you looked the most forward to meeting if you were at the meet and greet or if you would have went to the meet and greet. And then the second name needs to be who was not at the meet and greet you would have liked to seen there. And uh, next Sunday, we'll do another live feed, and we'll give these two loaders away, thanks to Hyundai. Uh, so, uh, Are they commenting on here? No, not after on? this video is over. So after this video is over and it's no longer a live feed and it becomes an actual video, comment down below. I can put it in my random comment generator. And uh, we'll pick a couple names out of there, and we'll go from there. Keep in mind, these are directly from Hyundai. Uh, they still. Do, I just want to do a thank you to you guys that showed up to the booth, and uh, it's kind of a sorry for the live feed not working out quite the uh, quite the name uh, quite the way we wanted it to before. I was wishing we could have got it all on live. We did get a live. We got all the channels introduced, and about the time we were getting ready to do the formal introduction at the show, we lost we lost connection. I think but, you got maybe one or two guys. Or introduced up on the stage before it went out. I rewatched it. <laughs> Watch Wes Lark is in there, man. Wes, <laughs> I hope you guys had a good time. I mean, these guys, it's like I said at the show, you know, all these channels or most of them, I think all of them own their own business. We're all busy people. And for these guys to take time out of their day to come down and uh, spend the time down here to meet you subscribers, that's a big deal for them. And then the flip side of that is I know you subscribers work and got a lot of stuff going on. You're busy as well. So for you guys taking time to come see us, that means a lot to us. So Digging Live 21 was there. We were just talking about him. So um, greatly appreciate all you guys doing it. So, all right, real quick, Hyundai, they're still doing it. They're still giving stuff away. We got two scale loaders back here. After this live feed's over, head to the comment section and uh, one comment the YouTuber that you were, would uh, either... <laughs> Did you forget what you said? <laughs> I'm tired, man. I need sleep. I need sleep. The YouTuber that was at the meet and greet that you were most glad to see or are most happy to meet. I don't yes. know if that's proper English. And the YouTuber that was not there that you would like to have seen there. Uh, I do have an arterial motive to this. We do hope to do this in the future. Uh, we learned a lot doing this. And uh, 
we're going to have to kind of figure out a way. I want to make sure I include as many people as possible. And I want to make sure we get the people there that people want to meet. So uh, we'll get her figured out. Uh, we'll get her figured out. It's oh, uh, Muddy Feet Concrete's here. What's up, Muddy hey. Feet? Hopefully you guys made it back to uh, Texas. All right. Sparky's Garage was there. He was actually the uh, winner of the free tickets from the actual expo yep. itself. Um, yeah, it's, uh, man, it's been a whirlwind. It has been a crazy, crazy whirlwind. So yes. Catherine, Catherine was a big part of making this all happen. I just, um, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, I don't know how to explain. I don't know how to explain what all goes into pulling that off. It's a lot. Let's just say it's a lot. And uh, without Miss Sot and the the full crew from Hyundai and several other people, it. Uh, it <laughs> I, I think Farmer Chris might be uh, making a hint. He sure likes that. Sure like that. <laughs> I think Farmer Chris got one of these, didn't he? No, not yet. Oh, Farmer John got one. Oh, <laughs> Farmer John got one. So Farmer Here. Chris needs Here. one. As a little hint of something else that might be coming, so we'll put that hat on for a little bit. What's, oh, how's that oh <laughs> okay, okay. I'm supporting Hyundai this evening. Well, that's what you I'm should be supporting. So, uh, Alan's from Australia. Uh, yeah, Watch West works, and it should have come earlier. I, I know a lot of the channels, I know Digging Life 21 was one of them. He was always able to spend just a little bit of time here. Um, we basically had a channel meet and greet on uh friday all the channels got together and um i personally not to take any away from the main meet and greet but it was just really nice to hang out with some of these channels you know uh as far as our other channels are concerned we watch you guys all the time and and we don't really get a meter find time to catch up so it was kind of cool for all of us to do that kind of exchange ideas and a couple different things and hey, uh yeah ed from full tail gray was there yep dirt boss uh Jason, appreciate that very much. Anthony says hello from Maine. Uh, Adam F., I, man, no idea. You guys just have to stay tuned and see what happens. I don't even think I know what's happening. Maybe there's nothing happening. Maybe I'm just trying to generate conversation. I mean, maybe so. Well, I don't know. We'll just have to stay tuned and find out there, Mrs. Dirt Perfect. So That's not fair. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I should know what's going on, right? <laughs> well, uh right we'll see sparky's garage was awesome man he won our free tickets from the expo he he spent the whole time with us there in the booth uh so did i dig it for if you guys haven't seen i dig it for go check him out he he does a lot of brush clearing uh but he also has some impersonation videos of uh, other youtubers and uh they're absolutely absolutely awesome so um randy from new york how you guys doing red dogs on here so changing subjects a little bit, how you guys liking all the crossover videos between uh, Let's Dig and Dirt Perfect? It seems like we've been invading each other's channel here for the last oh, Somebody just two asked weeks when so. your videos coming out with Chris. Uh, Tom, it's going to be probably in November before my videos. I will have a video coming out rather quickly with Chris from the Expo. Uh, but for some timing and some other stuff behind the scenes. I can't really talk about the videos of Chris on that pawn job, which I've only got one. Um, it will not come out until, uh, it'll probably not come out until sometime in November. There's some other, other forces at play there. Hopefully you guys, uh, understand a little bit. So William says you're loving it. Um, Jeff, appreciate that. We, uh, nailed the meet and greet. Love it. Awesome. Appreciate it. I'm glad you guys, uh, it, it, we, Chris and I both just got really lucky that we had the time to do this and the weather worked out. Um, it's not something we'll be able to do. It may be something we'll never be able to do again, but so it was pretty cool. We got the chance to do it. Chris is a great guy and a good operator. It's kind of cool to get him in my element and me go to his element and uh, see what's going on. So let's dig on the go-kart track. I don't know if he's much into the racing. We did take him up and show him the, uh, Showing the go kart track. So, uh, any more videos coming on Lieutenant Dan? Yep, got a few more coming. I think there's one coming at the end of this week. I think there's three more that have been filmed, and I'm in the process of filming a fourth one. So, uh, 
Uh, TNT, I appreciate that. Two best operators on YouTube. I don't know about that. There's a bunch of other good operators out there, but I definitely appreciate the kind, kind of words for sure. Uh, Bob's loving it. Randy, Sheldon. Um, Kenny Williams, appreciate that. Yeah, full tilt, man. We end up going racing. We end up going racing Saturday. I didn't get home till like three in the morning. Uh, I'm exhausted. It was exhausting. That's fun though. It was fun. But I think it was everybody. Exhausting. I think everybody. Had, After the week we had, it was an yeah. exhausting. We all thought I think you were crazy. Had, I, think I, I think everybody had fun except for Macy. She had fun until like this poor girl. She is a mess. She does not like loud noises. She oh, has really bad sad. allergies. She's just a girl. So that. Just we sat on the well at the end we watched the race from one of the what turn was it i don't know four. turn four so dirt like rained on us that's the beauty of being in a dirt track i know it was fun but poor thing she was wearing her face mask her glasses her her headphones her hoodie she just couldn't hang any longer <laughs> you uh joy wants to know how you like your new truck i don't know how do you like your new truck no i like it it rides really good uh, the red is um growing on me so if you guys that don't know, you will probably not see it on my channel. If you do see it, it's just going to be a glimpse in the background. But about, I guess it's close to two months ago, a month and a, a half month, ago. Maybe a month. month and a half ago, I uh, I did buy a brand new pickup truck. And uh, Mrs. Dirt Perfect has all that on her channel. So if you guys want to, uh, <laughs> Dirt Boss is his arms are dark with fly. That was a long trip for you. <laughs> You might want to try an airplane. I don't know who you bought your tickets from, everybody, but you may want to try again next time. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but uh, it's it's not a work truck. It's a family truck. So you guys probably won't see it on the channel a whole lot. You may see it in the background. I mean, he says it's a family truck. I've owned it for a month and a half, and I put almost I put over four thousand miles on it, so it's getting used. But I've also been doing uh, also been doing a lot of uh, doing a lot of travel. I mean, went to Chris's and. A lot of travel this week to Chillicothe, Ohio. I've got to go to um, Finley, Ohio, at some point. And, uh, Sam, the tailgate I haven't, I haven't is not broke, broke it. yet. I haven't broke it yet. I still don't know how I feel about the button. Uh, if you guys, I kind of like it. It doesn't guys, bother me one you guys bit. Go, well, yeah, if you guys go watch uh, Mrs. Dirt Perfect's channel, you'll know you'll know what we're talking about. I, I like I said, I, you'll see it on my channel eventually, but there will not be a video on it. Um, it's but there is a full video on. Uh, on uh, Mrs. Dirt Perfect's channel about the new truck. First new vehicle I've ever bought in my life. Me too. Still don't know how I feel about it. It's weird. It is weird. It's not new no more. It's got over 4,000 miles on it. No, you've been uh, Travis, like crazy. Uh, Travis, I can't complain. It's got the new 6.6 gas engine in it. And um, driving up to see Chris, I got like 18 miles of the gallon. Uh, driving around here uh driving around here i get 15 ish i have not towed in it with it yet but uh good. the max wagon i didn't realize you had your shirt on too hey we don't know or he knows but mrs derb herving doesn't know either stay tuned maybe nothing uh how far am i away from chris uh from crypt from farmer chris like 20 minutes from let's dig 18 chris about 10 hours um uh, Joy, yeah, I got new tires to the Mac. It's in uh, like two videos ago. It's in the See video. See you later, Sassafras Valley. See you, Sassafras Valley. Good to meet you. Uh, somebody asked if we have any big projects coming up. Yes. Snowmill building. That sounds fun. Who's taking a snowmobile? Lee in the Woods. Says, come up to New York and I'll we'll take you snowmobile. Never been on a snowmobile. Me neither. It sounds you, now fun. Now, wait a minute. You don't like sledding because it's cold. So why are you going I, snowmobiling? That is not an accurate statement. I took, you forget, when I was in college, I took a semester of snowboarding. That's not snowmobiling. I know. This thing has a motor and can go uphill. I know. And I said, I've never been on uh, one before. Every time it snows, you cry because it's are cold. Are you kidding me? Oh, yes, I do cry because it's cold. I don't cry, but it is cold. Oh, but who's goodness. the one out playing in the snow when all the, when it happens? Well, not me. me. I got a heated shop. You know. I don't want to be on the snow with a heated shop. Oh, my goodness. Uh, anybody want to know if we had any big projects coming up? Yeah, we got uh, a huge dam repair project coming up. This job we're working on with Chris is a huge renovation. Um, we got uh, there's a bunch of other small stuff kind of mixed in there, but yeah, there's a lot of cool videos coming along. Yes, uh, Farmer Chris, your food was delicious. Yeah, 
Um, a 2,500 truck, dark horse firewood. Yeah, Farmer Chris. So huge thanks to Farmer Chris. Uh, he cooked for almost 50 people. Yeah. He cooked for almost 50 people Thursday, Friday. And uh, it, um, it, yeah, it was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. Chris and um, um, I think Muddy Feet helped him a little bit. But Chris was the mastermind. Uh, Chris was the mastermind behind it all and uh, did an awesome job. Awesome job cooking, Chris. So. Thank you for that. Really appreciated the uh, food. Yep, Dirt Boss said chops was great. I think Dirt Boss and his wife had a pretty good trip. What do you think? I think so. We definitely enjoyed. It was fun meeting them for sure. Yep, Jamie made some awesome sides. Catherine, you're correct. Um, it was uh, it was a good time, man. We had. I'm trying to think who all was there Friday. I know Matt from Diesel Creek was there. Uh, Tractor Time with Tim was there. Uh counting on my fingers how many dirt boss there. was there muddy feet was there Up neil was there upstate brush upstate control. brush control was there watch west work was there i was there you were there dirt e digging was there Dirty digging was there of course all these people had people with them too so. sot was there sot was there um uh, farmer chris's family was there dot bear was there dot bear no dot bear wasn't there he left oh early. he was at, left early so um I don't remember who all was there. It was a bunch of us YouTubers. We hung out. We had an awesome time. Should awesome. I challenge Chris to a chili cook-off? No. Hmm, Sparky's Garage said that. Sparky, I don't know. Chili Are you good a, at chili? Chili would be like one of the few <laughs> things you have a fighting chance at. <laughs> no, it said Clayman. not me. Watch what I That's Clayman not, was there. No. We Sparky's forgot Clayman. You can't forget Clayman. Clayman was there, yes. No, Sparky's Garage asked if he should challenge Chris to a chili cook-off. Not oh. me. Yeah, I was not me. Say. I ain't challenging nobody in the cooking department. <laughs> Yo, that's you. A, that may be one of the smartest things you've said in the hey, while. I know where I stand. I'm good. It's not in the kitchen. Nope. And not I'm at all. Not when cowboy. you cowboy. Have... How can we forget cowboy? Oh yeah, cowboy was there. Yeah, it's a har <laughs> uh, harmless farmer. Did not make it for the Friday event. He was at the. Uh, oh, he was at the main uh, the main meet and greet. So uh, uh, it. Uh, Man, I'm sorry if I'm like dragging. I'm exhausted, but what a crazy, crazy, crazy weekend. Uh, Joy, Jerry did not make it. He had some stuff come up, and um, he wanted to go, but um, couldn't quite swing it with everything going on. So He's won a few chili cook-offs <laughs> in his day. Well, that sounds interesting. It's Sparky's Garage. If there's anything she can win in the cooking department, it's chili because my mom actually taught her something. Other oh my that, gosh other than that she's out no she well you know cheese. chili is different to a lot of people the way i make chili is probably not the way a lot of these people like chili yeah i forgot who it was i think it was chris let's dig the first night he was down we had chili it's like i'm not sure how i felt about the noodles but it was pretty good after a while <laughs> oh no why didn't you tell me that and i made chili again that was at his oh my god he gosh. said he liked the noodles in it but he wasn't sure how he felt about them the first time he bit into them so well, because um, most of the time people eat chili, it's like chunky. Yeah, uh, and not Connor, seasoned. Hank from Hamiltonville Farms was there for the meet and greet, but he did not stay for the after party. And uh, Chris was here for the meet and greet. He was here for almost a whole week, but he had to get back uh, after that. So uh, they were not here for the actual um, after party. So. It's kind of sounding like the people want us to do a chili cook off. <laughs> Well, you can challenge. You can challenge Sparky's Garage. No, I I'm sure am, we I'm could not. do like a virtual chili cook-off. No, some way, I, shape, or form. I just think it's funny. I am not challenging nobody. Farmer, farmer, does Farmer Chris want you to smack me or smack? I don't know. What did he say? Missed it. Can you smack him? Bam. Done. I thought we would see Farmer oh. Chris tonight. This is his video upload night. I know. What the heck? Where's he at? expecting you yeah miss sot uh, uh, we kind of figured me and chris spent almost two and a half weeks together i have come to find out that there is somebody just as picky as Mr. Yeah, perfect we, man we got a lot in common uh we both like pepsis they both, both are picky we're both pretty picky he does like ketchup though. i'd like to say we're both decent operators so did you uh, record John, a podcast excuse you it. Oh my gosh, turn your mic off. <laughs> you turned me off. You turned me off. No, you, I didn't turn it off. I was just oh. kidding. Talk to your people. I wasn't. Just talk. Just quit. <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? I don't know. Uh, oh, did uh, we record any podcast? Oh, yeah. 
No, it was too. Me and Jason works a lot. We're talking about this while I go on the phone. It's um, it was just too uh, too chaotic, too crazy. You know that takes uh, that takes about two hours of concentration to uh, get that done, and we just did not uh, uh, do it. So. The wife is not going to run the Volvo and do a cup challenge. Sorry. No, challenge. some other people have run that, so that will not be happening. And I understand why she won't. So, um, <laughs> not to be negative, Nancy, or anything, but no, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to be mean or rude or anything. No, it's just, uh, but I'm not going to do it. I will not do, um, I, there will be no filming of Mrs. Dirt Perfect. I do have some video of you on the, on, it's on your channel running the skid steer, though. Not by my choice, but yes. Uh, now, I don't know if Wes is going to post it or not, but I believe so. We had the we set up the so you guys remember the Hyundai, uh, uh what I call it, uh, excavator operation game we set yeah. up where we got the, the different size pieces and you pull them up out of there. Uh, I set that up over at camp for us to play with. And Wes, if you're on here, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think he's ever actually operated an excavator, I think he's been on tobacco a few times. So uh, I know his wife uh, videoed him See doing that. In the woods. See Lee, I know his wife videoed him doing that, and I'm thinking his wife took a turn too, and 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 vice versa. They got some video of that. So uh, I wasn't actually over there when that was going down, but I heard it was pretty, heard it was pretty, uh, pretty comical. So, uh, uh, and there, everybody took a everybody took a swing at that thing. We had we had pretty good fun. We had a pretty good time with it. I think Ed Ed was on there and. Matt from Diesel Creek took a swing at it, and uh, I don't know if Junior got on there or not, but uh, everybody, uh, everybody had a pretty good time with that. Mm -hmm. And and several of the girls tried it, which uh, kind of surprised me. It was pretty, pretty fun to, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if SOT is talking about the same thing. We had to repair a few logos. Everybody was hard on the Dirt Perfect logo. <laughs> what the deal was? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, everybody want to know, Wes wanted me to teach him how to operate an excavator. And, uh, I, I put Ed in charge. Ed from full tilt chair grading was in charge of, uh, he was in charge of the, uh, the educational part of that event. Man behind the scenes showed up later that evening. He did. He showed up late. Uh, uh, Northern living. Are you going to go to work for let's dig 18? No. I don't know even where we've ever alluded to that happening. Uh, Cowboy has never been on um, an excavator in his life. That guy is an animal and a loader. Uh, he's not no excavator, but he tried. <laughs> he tried. So, uh, Alfred Cole, if you're talking about the excavator operation game, uh, we do make and sell them. You need to get with Junior at SOT Metalworks. Um, it's a pretty cool game. I mean, Video doesn't know justice. It's a cool conversation, uh, cool conversation piece. But when did uh, you find the stickers on your bag? He said he knew. I knew they were on there the whole time. He's a liar. I knew because as soon as oh Todd showed God. up, he hugged you and put it on there, yes. and you had no idea. And then whenever I was up on stage, I remember Diesel Creek and a few other ones were putting them back. I knew exactly what they were well, doing. Well, do you remember when Catherine put hers on you? I don't know about that one. Yeah, she came and patted you on your back. Said you did good or something like that. You didn't hey, know. You didn't know. I'll you be a walk. I, you know what I need to do? I need to find out everybody that put a sticker on my back. And then I need to turn around and charge them for my advertisement because I was a walking <laughs> billboard. So now who wants to brag about their damn sticker on my back? Boom. <laughs> Good golly. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where I'm going to go. Go like that. So, yeah, man, the excavator operation game. That's actually the first time we used it since we actually filmed that video. Uh, since we actually filmed that video a while back, actually it's been like two years ago, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's, it's cool. You know, we talked about taking it up to the expo, but that's, you're better off with cones and basketballs up there where you can't really like this thing here. If you're not like, at least have a clue what you're doing, you could tear something up. Yeah, that might have been it's, a little it's, bit. Uh, I guess it's, it's your amateur plus uh, game. So <laughs> Catherine says you're lucky he's in the building, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who bent your new low boy wheel? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Donald, nobody's bent any wheels on the new low boy. Uh, 
everything's everything's good there new little boy's been doing good no issues whatsoever no bent wheels uh yeah alex billable wires everybody i need to bill them by the minute for every minute their logo was on my back i just need to send them a bill that's how i'm gonna do it nah. i don't know if they i'm sure somebody's got video of me walking around with them on my back obviously i don't walk around filming my back so i don't have any video of it i didn't really film a whole lot i don't think the, you filmed anything did you Oh, I didn't want you to film. Like I just my pictures from my phone to uh, make a post, even. And Jared says in the Catherine Cheesy account, I see a little past the buck going back and forth here. <laughs> uh, Jason had a let's dig eighteen like the eight fifty J. I think he enjoyed running it. It was something different from what he's um, what he's used to. He's already posted two separate two separate videos with it. Uh, he's got his um, thoughts on a couple of them. I didn't, honestly, we were so busy. Like I didn't have a chance to really sit down and uh, oh, look at what Derek's question is. Who's your favorite captain, Matt or Aaron? None of them. <laughs> yeah. I miss it. Miss their perfect. That's right. So you know where you sleep at night. They're kind of like kids. Like, like I got, well, no, they're, they're uh, captain, the captain one. Matt and Aaron are like kids. I have my favorite, but I can't say. So I have to say the given the politically correct answer and say I like them all. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no man, they're all good. I'm pretty lucky. Why to do have you the mean no bent wheels? You had a video on Aaron told you to go, 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 and you went, 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 and the story you told on that was it. Somebody hit you and took the tire off the wheel. That was on the old low boy, not the new one. Oh, I don't know. But uh, yeah. Yeah, Captain. See, Captain's on here. Jerry's my favorite. Exactly, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> my, At my least he knows it, right? My favorite is whoever shows up for work that day. Uh, yeah, the the BLT. The that's what we keep calling the uh, um, Derby bacon, egg, and cheese on a biscuit. That was what everybody got for breakfast. I told is that what you told them to get? That sounds no, like they a you. can choose whatever they wanted. I just <laughs> said you've only got one cho place to choose to eat. Oh, How do you find that so funny? I don't know. Oh my god! I don't know. Oh man! Oh man! Uh, Most of his friends repair bill for an employee. Mike, if you find new stickers, it wasn't me this time. Sot. Hmm. I don't believe that. So You're most the king of sneaky stickers. Most expensive repair for an employee. I would have to say that was probably whenever Captain Kleeman turned over one of the dump trucks. Was the uh, mm. uh, that was probably the most expensive employee repair was that was before he was Captain Kleeman. He was just Kleeman. <laughs> <laughs> he was just Kleeman, no captain. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really kept tabs on that because it don't really matter. But that's the one that comes to uh, the good news is he turned the truck over, kind of. I have to find a picture to explain, but none of the mirrors were hurt. So that was a, I think I remember that. Don't you, you have a picture somewhere? Yeah, I got a picture somewhere. That was the green dump truck, right? Yeah. Well, they're all been green <laughs> except for the one I got now. Oh, that, like Gumby green. is what I was thinking of. It was Gumby. That is Gumby. correct. It is correct. It is correct. So Jeff, I'll catch you later. So guys, real quick, just to kind of um, uh, go back over, I just want to remind everybody Hyundai has gave us Two get what else and show them down here. Two die cast models of the uh 960 loader to give away to you guys. And what we're gonna do is is after after the live feed is over, you guys go in the comments. I want to know the channel that you were most looking forward to seeing at the meet and greet, or if you would have went to the meet and greet, who you would look the most forward to seeing. And then I want you guys <laughs> to list a channel. It was not there you wanted to see. And what did you read that's so funny? Because I missed it. <laughs> Cowboy's comment about you eating cottage cheese. What? <laughs> not going to lie. You scarfing that cottage cheese at dinner was the funkiest thing I've seen all week. <laughs> <laughs> you do got a way about eating cottage cheese. He likes a little <laughs> cottage cheese with his pepper. I like pepper, I like pepper with my cottage cheese. Or you cottage like a little bit of cottage, I like cheese, cottage with cheese with your pepper. pepper. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, Tony will be scared of Lieutenant Dan. I don't know if Lieutenant Dan will haul as much, but I guarantee you Lieutenant Dan will risk, uh, get the uh, speed test. So, 
Uh, yeah, I shelled him never and clean and flipped the truck. He didn't, it, the bed went over, the cab didn't. But uh, it didn't, he didn't get hurt, just the truck got hurt. That's the main thing, nobody got hurt. So it, uh, we kind of had an impromptu gathering Wednesday night. Was it Wednesday night? Thursday night. Thursday night. Um, and they kind of had a last minute going out to eat dinner. A bunch of us got together. It was a good time. It was a good time. But uh, apparently I grossed out cowboy eating my cottage cheese. I'm smart there, buddy. Didn't mean to do that. Why do you think it's so funny? Because I know how you, I wasn't there and I know how you eat cottage cheese. So you I were invited. Funny. You just decided to hang out with your mother friends. No, that is not true. Yes, I Dan. I decided cheese to black put black. our children to bed at a decent hour because they had oh, been yeah. up late for I days. Forgot we, I forgot end. we had yeah, we still and have if children. We, if they did not go to bed, we were going to have some major attitudes. We got major attitudes anyway. Where's Dirt Perfect's new toy prize from Hyundai? Well, it hasn't made the shelf exactly <laughs> yet. Yeah. Cowboy says a waitress in a motor grade to clean the paper off the table. I mean, right? It wasn't that bad, Cowboy. Come on well, now. I is. thought I thought we were friends. You put almost an entire bottle of pepper on one little bitty belly. Okay, so... I didn't realize this. If you guys watched the live feed, you realized that I was really confused about what was going on here. So show them. So I won this from Hyundai. What I didn't realize is how I won this. I thought they were giving it to me. I earned this. Oh, I how, won this. How did you win it? I won their, uh, um, I won the uh, soccer game. Not the soccer game, but the oh, softball game. That's why they gave it to yeah, you. Yeah, that's why they gave it to me is I, was, I had the fastest time on the softball game. Oh. So basically, if you guys remember two years ago, they had excavator soccer. I set fast time. I won the loader, which is over there somewhere. No, I won the small excavator. This one, 160. Oh, those are yes. The yes. Uh, they're different sizes there. Not everything's the same. HX220 is on both of them. Then. Well, because just go with me. Just just believe they're different sizes. So this year, um, uh, this year we had the excavator challenge again. Me and Chris, let's dig, walked into the booth. I think this will be on somebody's video. I'm not sure who's. But the fast time when we got there was 25 seconds. And Chris goes and he gets 14 seconds and he's all like, oh, I got 14 seconds. So I go and I get 13 seconds. I'm like, oh, I got 13 seconds. Beat that. So then he got 12 and 11 and 10. And you see where it's going back and forth. So anyways, Chris ended up with 10 seconds. So I got cocky and did the whole swing method again, which is actually on video this time. And I got it in nine seconds. And uh, yeah, I won. So <laughs> I got a new excavator. But uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. The die cast may possibly be. For real, who knows? I'm just throwing stuff out there. Got the back hat on and the... What was the first sentence? I wasn't listening. What did you say? I don't know. That's why it's recorded. What yes. What were you just saying? SOT, you're correct. I backed up my excavator challenge at the Hyundai booth competition. Hmm. And then we actually played the basketball game at the Lugan booth, and me, Chris, and uh, Dirt Ninja were the top three over there. <laughs> so I think they're going to make us stop playing these games. I don't know. But anyways. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, yeah, old school. Chris spent uh, about three days in the Big Dozer. I think he had a good time with it, man. We moved a little <laughs> We were we had our backs up against the wall with schedule obligations, but uh, we managed to get a bunch of dirt in between. Uh, James Taylor, yeah, we got several more videos coming on Lieutenant Dam. If you guys watch the Watch West Work Channel, you may even uh, you may even see a little sneak peek. He was actually down here doing a little bit of filming. Uh, what's going on? So he said he's going to. Spend he better money. not be spending money. That's not how it works. Oh man. It wouldn't surprise me if you did, though. That's usually how it happens. I, He's shaking his head yes, so I think you guys I'm are right. I'm done spend money for this year. I've spent all I can spend, I think. you spent a lot. Yeah, I've spent a lot. You've spent a lot. It's been a crazy year. Hello from Georgia. Leighton, how are you doing? South Bend, Indiana. You're not too far north of us. About six hours. Hopefully you're doing good. Um. 
But uh, all right, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. We need to wrap this thing up. What do you think? Okay. So, real quick. What do you got to do to win these right here? I like the direction you're going, but I was going to give thanks to everybody first. Okay. Well, I'm just reminding them. You want to stand up there and be a model until I get it done? No. You sure? What do you got to do? Huh? You got to comment after this video is loaded. All right. So, first off, huge thanks to Hyundai. Oh, my gosh. Why don't you just say what we were saying and then move on from that? You want me to? Oh my gosh, you're annoying. Okay. Right. Yes. Continue on. You We gotta give a huge thanks to Hyundai yes. for allowing us to invade their booth. Thank you. Everything thank they you. did for all the YouTubers, like yes. it was awesome. Like this this meet and greet went off better than I ever could have dreamed it could have. And uh it's a huge thanks to Hyundai, SSOT Metalworks, Catherine, Jared, Digging Dirty, the whole group. Man, it was um uh Oh, Daryl, man, I hate to hear that. It was an awesome, awesome time. Awesome turnout. Good weather. A lot of people showed up. Like, I'm pretty sure we were the highlight of the show the last day. Uh, it was it was awesome, man. I do think we're going to try to do this again in the future. I don't know with who or where at or what the situation is going to be. There is... There is a lot of moving parts behind the scenes. The puzzle's got to get put together. But uh, I'm sure if you guys stay tuned to everybody's channel, uh, as it starts to come together, we will uh, get all the information out there to you guys. So if you guys want to, we're trying to get it put together and the information out there soon enough. So if you guys want to make travel plans, yes, you can. And hold on, where that text message go? Any channel wanting on the list. Yes. Email jamie.daily123 at outlook.com. Oh, she just said it too. Look at that. Yeah. We were thinking the same thing. Um, Brian Crawford, I don't know about that, man. The Takakuchi skid steer still got the Kubota engine in him, and I just am not a Kubota fan. Just not a Kubota fan. Um, but the people at Hyundai were awesome. All the YouTubers was awesome. Everybody that had any part of putting this on. Uh, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for making it happen. We are going to do something like this again in the future, probably about a year from now. Stay tuned for that. If you guys missed that on this one, hopefully you can get in on the uh, get in on the next one. Uh, if you have, uh, I don't want to. I don't want people emailing Jamie right now. To be honest with you, because uh, so there's some things Jamie don't even know that that has to come together behind the scenes stuff. So stay tuned. We'll get, get a way to get this all figured out, all sorted out. I, I just want to make sure we start off with a blank slate and get some stuff going because there's some there's some cards that have to fall in place to figure out which which road we're going to go down. I know I'm talking crazy here, but um, um, but anyways, thank you for everybody. Now, Hyundai has got one last thing they're giving away. It's the two 960 loaders, the two die cast. So, uh to win those, I need to know who you look most forward to meeting that was on this year's meet and greet list. You can find that list if you're not familiar with it at Hyundai.com. Um, and who wasn't on the list that you would like to see at the next YouTube meet and greet? Uh, so comment those two names down below as that is uh, going on going on down below. And uh, we will find, uh, find out from there. And we'll go from there. So uh gg we did not do any go-kart racing while the guys were down i do have a one more go-kart racing video coming a little bit of go-kart racing at the end of it so stay tuned for that um sparky's garage yeah man we got you on the list i don't <laughs> i i can't do or say a whole lot so there, there's there's some big things in the works so just kind of kind of stay tuned uh stay tuned just stay tuned there's a lot of stuff to stay tuned for there's a lot of exciting stuff that's going to be coming up on this channel over the next couple of months. There's going to be a lot of exciting stuff coming up on some other channels I know about over the next couple of months. So um, be sure you stay tuned to all your favorite channels. So everything that's uh, everything that's going on, huge thanks to Hyundai. Huge thanks to SLT Metalworks. Huge thanks to anybody that had any part in uh, making this happen. And stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yep. Get some sleep. You guys are awesome. You guys in the comments are awesome. Uh, you guys are the ones that keep us keep us going. We keep living this crazy life and posting videos because you guys enjoy it and uh, keep giving us feedback. So I can't thank you guys enough. 
Uh, one last thing, if you want any Dirt Perfect merch before Christmas, uh, we're having a hard time keeping inventory and shipping is going to be crazy. So uh, I would suggest you possibly order it sooner rather than later. Uh, all of our inventory is on the website, right? Yep. Shop at dirtperfect1.com. There's usually a link in the description of this video. Should be a link in the description of pretty much every video we post. Um, so we'll head on over there and uh, check that out. And uh, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting all the channels that are in the meet and greet. Thank you to everybody who helped <clears throat> with the meet and greet. And uh, yeah, yeah, thank you enough. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm tired. Yep. See you guys. Thanks. See ya.